Hello, I'm Lynette Bochco, and welcome to Fish Tank, my show where we take some time to relax and just discuss how life is going at the moment while watching some fish. I am a messy ass person. I live my life like someone surviving in a bunker during the end of the world. Just empty cans of microwavable food sitting around the room, dishes in the sink, clothing all over the place. I am not well organized, and frankly, if I lived with someone, they likely hate me for it. I know I do. I want to be more organized, it's just that it's so hard. I've been this way ever since I was a little girl. When I was a kid, I just stuffed papers into my backpack and never made any kind of effort to prepare for anything. My mother, being the complete opposite of me in nearly every sense of the word, was of course driven completely and utterly mad by this behavior. But then again, she drove me completely and utterly mad, so I guess we gave each other a healthy dose of annoyance and frustration daily. Either way, my end point is that I'm a completely disorganized mess. Inside and out. Even in my head I'm a mess. My feelings and thoughts often entwine together like headphone wires you can no longer detangle are constantly at war with one another and sometimes it becomes hard to tell what is one thing and what's another. Do I really feel this way? Why do I really feel this way? Is that really the reason why I feel this way? It's a nightmare, guys. An absolute nightmare. Imagine questioning every single thought that comes into your head because you can't trust yourself enough to take them at face value for being true. It's like you're trying to lie to yourself 24-7 just for the fun of watching yourself squirm. It's miserable. When I was growing up, my house was so immaculately clean that it made me anxious. If a home doesn't look lived in, how can you be certain it is? I'd begin to question whether or not I was real if there wasn't physical evidence of the fact I existed staring me back in the face from every corner at all times. The house was constantly vacuumed, mopped, dusted. The place always smelt of pine trees and baked goods, like living in a fucking pastry shop in the woods or something. I am not, to my knowledge, the daughter of the Keebler Elves. I fought with my mom often about keeping my bedroom clean and organized, but the thing is, everything is clean and organized to me. What looks like a pile of dirty laundry to someone, I can ascertain what hasn't been worn yet from it, and thus isn't dirty. You know the phrase, organized junk drawer? Yeah, that's my life. I know where everything is at all times, even if it appears to be buried under countless other mountains of crap. My mother still keeps the house squeaky clean, and any time I have to visit, it takes all my effort not to just throw cans of paint all over the goddamn place. I don't, because I like to at least give off the illusion of being a mild-mannered young woman. But inside, there's a tiny Tasmanian devil who just wants to create mayhem and destruction wherever she goes. I want to destroy, so I can rebuild in a way that I can comprehend in a way that makes sense to me. I may be a completely disorganized mess, but at least I can navigate and work with it. That's more than most people can say, I think. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you'll tune in next time. Until then, I'm Lynette Bochco, and unlike my mother, I'll admit I'm a wreck. <laughs>